Microsoft's bringing some new security features to Windows, and you can thank Xbox. Microsoft is doing something a little bit interesting. Every once in a while on this channel, we'll talk about how Xbox is sometimes used to like pioneer security features and push the boundaries of things that Microsoft is working on specifically because they need to protect the gaming assets that are loaded on their consoles. And they know that everybody who buys a console has physical access to it, which is typically the Achilles heel of a lot of security solutions. Um, right now in Windows devices around the world, there's a chip called the Trusted Platform Module. And what this thing does is it's a secure little area on the, on the motherboard or, or the board, whatever you want to call it. And it connects to the CPU and it's where you can store sensitive data. And it's a trusted module and it looks at resources on the PC to make sure that nothing has changed and, and keep it locked down. And if something's, a, you know, an anomaly occurs, then it can kind of shut things down and lock it up and secure the device. The problem is, is that, that chip is separate than the CPU. And in between, there's a connection and that is known as a bus. And if you are very smart and a very sophisticated technology, you can actually sometimes extract information from that bus. And Microsoft is saying, that's not really a good thing. Um, we need to figure out a way to fix that. Enter Pluton, or Pluton, I believe is how you pronounce it. I have a rich history uh, of, of not doing that correctly. But Microsoft is making some big claims with Pluton. They are saying that none of the information in Pluton can be removed even if attacker has installed malware or has complete physical possession of the PC. Now, you're wondering how does this you know, where does this come from? This actually comes from the Xbox One. Now, we're not talking Xbox Series S and X, but the Xbox One, which launched in 2013, I believe pioneered this. So it the, the work actually started well before 2013, but that was, I believe, the first commercial product to utilize it. And as we all know, the Xbox One was not a widely distributed tool for piracy. It was actually locked down pretty well. And so Microsoft is clearly using some sort of later generation of that for the Series S and X. They aren't talking about it, and I'd love to know, uh, you know, the ins and outs of all that. But Microsoft is using Pluton and they are working with AMD, Intel, and Qualcomm to build a new generation of chips that are going to take advantage of this architecture. Now, this is a big deal because one of the primary reasons that security can fail is when somebody has physical access. You leave it in the car. You leave it on a plane. Somebody steals it from you. You know, the, all the different scenarios. They're great for you know, outside attacks, it's a lot easier to lock down hardware and software and data from external ex intruders than it is when they have the physical device because they can open it up and they can do whatever they want. They've got all the time in the world. So Microsoft is trying to address that with Pluton and it's going to be, it's going to be a big deal, but the problem is it's going to take a while to get here. First thing that needs to happen is it's going to become a new architecture on the chip, which means we need new chips, which means we need to wait for Intel, AMD, and Qualcomm to, you know, put all these products out, get them validated, get them tested out in the field. The other thing, too is I don't know if this is actually coming to the data center yet. I would imagine that it would, but we haven't heard. I believe they were mostly talking about endpoints such as like laptops is where I think we will primarily see this show up. And this is the evolution of the TPM or the trusted platform module, which can effectively shut down uh, the laptop if needed, if it notices something is a wreck. So this is a big deal, but it's going to take a while to get here. And if you keep hearing about Pluton, you can thank Xbox for that because that is where it was pioneered. And Microsoft has done this several times with their products because they have complete control of the system from this, the OS and the hardware on a console. Now, they do have their Surface line, but back in 2013, it wasn't nearly as robust. And if you're going to test something on a console is a good way to do it. And Microsoft very clearly was happy with the results of what they've done. And they've advanced it from 2013 to what we are seeing today. And this is a, this is a big deal. I know it's a little bit nitty gritty and down in the details, but physical security of a device has been a long been the Achilles heel of a lot of different things because with the TPM and the chip being separate, that connection, the bus, the smart people can get in there and take advantage of that weakness. Microsoft is removing that from the equation. And um, I'll be very curious to see how some security experts like, like Black Hat conferences start attacking this because Microsoft is making the big claims that physical access is no longer going to be an Achilles heel of this solution. Doesn't mean there are weaknesses but we will find out. As we learn more, you know, I'll be bringing that to you. I'm trying to understand what's going to be happening in Series S and X. I'm not expecting Microsoft to talk about that because they're going to want to keep that stuff secrets, but a little bit of information for you about how Xbox is driving security in Windows 10.